games have been a part of our life since times immemorial. Menkala, which is regarded as the world's oldest game uh, that originated in the country of Jordan around 6000 BC, was played by ancient Tibetans. Games bring people together in unusual ways and have been evolving in different types. Over the course of years and with the help of technology, the mainstream thought that comes to our mind when we think of games is that of video games. The definition of a video game goes like the following. An electronic game that involves interaction with a user interface or an input device such as a joystick, controller, keyboard or a motion sensing device in order to generate visual feedback for a player. This feedback is shown on a video display screen such as a TV set, monitor, touch screen or a virtual reality headset in recent times. Video games are often augmented with audio feedback delivered through speakers or headphones and sometimes with other types of feedback such as haptic technology. As per a report from New Zoo, the firm had estimated that in 2020, the global games industry received a revenue of $159.3 billion, that is a 9.3% increase from the previous year. New Zoo predicts that the market will surpass $200 billion by the end of 2023. The video games industry has been uh, seeing an interesting addition of different revenue models as well. Esports has been a real game changer for the industry in recent times. India is also not far behind in this race and by 2021, it is estimated that it will reach over $1 billion in revenue from the video games industry. Let us explore what made this possible over the years. When the iPhone was launched, it proved revolutionary for the entire industry as it democratized the way for new developers. No longer were you required to go uh, through only big publishers who had established distribution channels in order to have a strong game sales. You could now simply open up a new developer account, upload your game and wait for people to download your game. If you were lucky enough and your game got heavily downloaded, you'd become an overnight millionaire. We have seen the massively successful games profiting massively from this democratization. Not just the big names, but also smaller known developers made a good amount of living. Compared to the global scenario, India has seen a comparatively slower growth, but slow does not necessarily rule out the fact that there has in fact been growth in the industry. The revenue figures speak for themselves. One of the pivotal moments that were defining moments for the Indian gaming industry was most certainly the success of the game Ludo King. The game showed that even by staying true to our roots, we can make a huge difference. The game has ruled top charts for quite a long time now. Same has been the case with many new game developers originating from India who have created some amazing experiences. Another huge boost was given to this industry by the telecom giant Jio that is led by a prominent Indian billionaire Mr. Mukesh Ambani. He introduced India to cheap internet services that catapulted the entire smartphone adoption which subsequently led to an increase in the consumption of games since they are one of the largest entertainment mediums. The Bollywood industry has also been actively looking at games as a medium to promote their movies. There have been some big movie franchises that have explored this new form of entertainment as one of their revenue sources as well as a way to engage directly with their audiences, thereby creating a long-term relation with them because of the recall value of the games. Not just mobile games but also hardcore market of PC games is seeing a huge boost. Slowly but steadily, people are investing heavy amounts to create powerful personal computers for themselves so they can enjoy at their leisure time. The Indian gaming market is also seeing a sharp rise as more and more awareness is being created due to recent heavy penetration of internet adoption over here. Some people enjoy games just for the sake of entertainment but a minor few have also started making entire careers out of gaming. One of the most popular ways to earn from playing games nowadays is streaming. A huge wave of professional gamers have taken this lucrative opportunity by leveraging popular uh, free streaming platforms such as YouTube and Twitch to stream directly to an audience waiting to consume their content. Gone are the days when people used to get entertained only by watching either cricket or football uh, on television sets. Nowadays, people prefer watching everything on the internet and so has the narrative for traditional sports changed significantly. These days, people enjoy watching other people playing video games rather than watching a football or a cricket match. Thanks to big Indian streamers, we are now exposed to a wide variety of popular video games as well. Generally, people consume all kinds of content, right from someone getting frustrated with a game and breaking their monitor to someone playing amazingly and winning tournaments for the country. India is getting to enjoy a wide spectrum of content. The educational segment is also accepting games and game development as a profession. IIT recently announced that they will be accepting game design and development as a part of their curriculum. 
there is a huge shift in mentality in india that is being undertaken currently due to the wide acceptance of game development and gaming as a career this will give an impetus to an industry that was generally outcast earlier and that wasn't given the attention that it rightfully deserves making games is no joke making games requires a wide array of talent a typical game development process involves thinking of the core game loop making art writing code and then it is followed by intensive testing and marketing once the game is developed there is a next wave of further iterations which involve taking customer feedback and improving the game over time it is quite literally a full time job and developers are paid hundreds and thousands of dollars per month to make games the same is now happening in india we also have an advantage of our population over 50% of indian population is below the age of 25 and 60% of the nation's gamers are under 25 years of age as well the gaming user base surpassed 365 million in march 2020 as per kpmg's media and entertainment report mobile users have also grown significantly mobile users form an overwhelming 85% of the industry followed by the pc users at 11% and tablet users at 4% India has over 560 million internet users making it the second largest internet consumer. Investors can expect a 10 year growth outlook with a 3.8 billion dollar valuation by the end of 2024. The first 9 months of 2020 saw India rise to a number 1 spot in the mobile games download section worldwide clocking in 7.3 billion installs and raking in 17% of the market share of install volumes as per Sensor Towers data. At its peak, PUBG Mobile had an estimated 34 million Indians playing daily. Indians alone were responsible for downloading the Battle Royale genre uh, title a whopping 175 million times. The recent COVID-19 pandemic has also given a huge impetus to this industry, primarily because the COVID-19 pandemic saw a shift in media and entertainment consumption trends, with KPMG again estimating a 20% contraction in 2020 in typical segments such as film, TV and print. In contrast, they foresee a rapid change to gaming and digital media consumption projecting global growth bouncing up to 33% to reach up to 25.4 billion dollars in 2021 a huge wave of new investors as well are looking forward to invest in this gaming industry up until 2010 there were just a handful of game development companies in india fast forward to now we have over 500 plus game development companies and growing india has a population of a billion plus people and we have no shortage of creativity in us The same is being observed in the games that are made in India. Indian stories and traditional games are now being made digitally and being enjoyed by people all around the world. There is a huge wave of new developers who want to make content on Indian uh, mythologies, on Indian stories and want to bring this to the attention of the audience in India. Uh, there is also a uh, huge support given by the Indian uh, government for educating people about this industry thereby giving a further boost to the education segment uh, in order to create more game developers in the country india is now looked upon as a country that can actually create great narrative experiences we have seen some really great popular games coming up on steam as well as epic games that are made by indian developers the narrative is simply changing primarily because nowadays we are making games that are based on our mythology as well as the traditional companies are not just servicing other companies but they are also making their own products we have seen some great potential in terms of the growth in this industry as well as some uh, big big companies have got acquired by international companies a recent example was dhruva interactive that is regarded as one of the oldest game development companies that got acquired by rockstar games that created the gta franchise parents have also started believing in this industry today developers have access to a vast global market with huge financial returns which has made the gaming industry very attractive for youngsters tools such as unity coco studio unreal engine have made it very very easy for anyone to pick up uh, game development as a skill you just need to invest your time you just need to take out some time from your uh, busy schedule or your school schedule or your college schedule or your job schedule you just put in one or one and a half hours a day and over a period of a month you can easily pick up game development you just need to have that uh, passion you just need to have a, a core uh, understanding of how games work because this industry is very very technical uh, there are a lot of job uh, fields in this industry primarily uh, game programming game uh, design game art game design and game art are two different things game design is how uh, you structure the game how you think of the game as a set of rules 
game art is to actually create assets there is game testing there is game marketing so there is a wide variety of job fields in this industry itself so that is why uh, slowly steadily indians are becoming aware of this industry as being a serious business rather than just a pastime hobby this has been observed in the west and was a no brainer that india would also see a growth in terms of game development industry because you uh, see each and every one nowadays plays a game be it that nerdy kid sitting in the corner of a house and just enjoying game uh, the entire day or you just commuting on a journey uh, taking out your phone while being on a rickshaw ride or on a train and playing subway surfers for that matter so gaming is taking place all over and all around us and gaming is also evolving in terms of a lot of different uh, technological advancements such as vr ar mr these are all amazing uh, technological masterpieces that are shaping up eventually and are set to revolutionize the entire gaming industry not just in india but worldwide however india is on its way to take a huge pie of that market huge share of that market and shine brighter than ever the business side of things in gaming is also taking shape in and is looking very positive nazara technologies which is also one of the oldest game development companies and also the biggest from india uh recently got listed on the stock exchange that is they launched their own ipo and got listed this is a huge milestone huge stepping stone for the industry because of the cheap internet available nowadays it is very easy for anyone to pick any skill and this also is true for game development any person can just uh, go on to youtube and type in a lot of people might have heard of this company called india games india games at its peak was one of the biggest game development companies from india back in 2012 or 2013 this company got acquired by disney for a whopping 200 million dollars and this actually shed a lot of you know interesting lights on the indian game development scenario since 2012 till now there have been a really slow trajectory of growth but slow as i mentioned earlier does not necessarily mean that there is no growth now all of this makes me very hopeful for the future and me personally being a part of this industry uh, would definitely urge you guys to take a look at this industry and i hope with this talk i have inspired you to support this industry and if you are interested in being a part of this industry i urge you to take a leap of faith and go ahead keep calm and game on